to another episode of the World of Cinematics. It's been a while since we've seen you guys, but today we're going to talk about Bad Batch a little bit, and then we're going to rank all the Star Wars movies. So, everyone's opinion on Bad Batch, how do you feel about that last episode in uh, one sentence? Jed, you go first. What was it called? Bounty Lost? Yes. Um, I didn't like where the story went, but as an episode, I liked it. I liked the action, the horror elements. I thought... Other than, you know, where the story went, which is a big element. Good job. All right, Aaron. Cad Bane, what happened to you, man? All right, Seven. I'm with Jed. I agree with all of them so far. I mean, I feel like Cad Bane could have been cooler. And that's how I feel mostly overall. Anyways, now jumping into ranking those Star Wars movies. So we will get back to the Bad Batch when, we, when the series is finished. Or at least the that. season. We don't know if there will yeah. be a season two. Yeah. Right. Season, yeah. I meant season. Right. All right. <laughs> and Jed, you can take over with the Star Wars movies. Let's let's get that kicked off right now. All right. So we're going to be debating the four of us to determine our definitive ranking of each one of the Star Wars movies, except for the Clone Wars movies. I would have put it in here, but it's it's not in this list. Um and so we will be going one to eleven, we'll be making these binary choices. Each of us will make a vote in the event of a tie. I guess we'll have to be extra persuasive to each other. Yeah. Um, and so we'll try not to hold too fast to our opinions, but we'll also try and be as persuasive as possible, if yeah. that makes any sense. All right. So with that out of the way, Solo versus The Rise of Skywalker, one that uh, two very controversial movies, but for very different reasons. I am very solidly in Camp Solo. I agree with Jed. I am also in Camp Solo. There are some fun elements in Rise of Skywalker, but man, when it tripped, it tripped. This one may surprise you. Um, I'm actually with Solo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a twist. It's not very surprising. I think we all equally hate Rise of Skywalker. I don't know about equally, but none of us like it. Yeah, yeah. 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 We all mutually hate it. Yes, yes. yes. It's one thing we can agree on. Oh, all we, right. we know where this one's going. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, I know where I'm voting on this one. I like both of these movies, and I'm guessing I'm going to be outvoted. We'll see, but I'm going with The Last Jedi. It To me, it encapsulated what I wanted in a Star Wars movie. You know, that, that Faulkner quote of, you know, the human heart in conflict with itself. That I feel like that was embodied well in The Last Jedi. That's fair. That's fair. There were a lot of uh, good character uh, heart mo- to heart moments in Last Jedi. That said, I'm always a big Darth Vader fan, so Rogue One has to be it for me. Plus, right. I actually did enjoy uh, CG Tarkin. I thought they did a good job with that. So there you have it. Yeah, I prefer the, uh, films that don't have everyone's hearts against each other. So I'm going with <laughs> Rogue One on this one. I think for me. For most of these, it's going to be, which one am I going to watch again and again? It's going to be Rogue One. All right. That's fair. That's fair. Let's go. All right. Revenge of the Sith or The Force Awakens. Personally, neither are a film that I like. You know, I love this. This is the greatest film ever made. I like both of them. Um, So, I mean, it depends on the day. I think today I'll go Force Awakens. Today, Force Awakens. That's fair. Yeah. Once again, Darth Vader. So, Revenge of the Sith for me. Um, Han Solo is great in The Force Awakens, but mm-hmm. and his memorable scenes. But Revenge of the Sith is like the just the best of the people. So I'm going with Sith on this one. Uh, I like Sith a lot, so I'm gonna go with that. I feel like it's the Star Wars movie that stands apart from a lot of them in how dark it is. Mm. So I'm gonna go with that. All right, oh, very good. Ooh, Ooh, this is this okay. is a hard one. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. I've been rewatching all of the movies or, or trying to watch as much of them as possible and, and you know, recently to get prepared for things like this. <sighs> Phantom Menace was a lot more boring than I remembered. Yeah. Fair enough. And Attack of the Clones dialogue was worse than I remembered. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I'm, okay, I'm gonna Okay, this is probably gonna change tomorrow, but I'm going to Attack of the Clones. Yeah, you know, surprisingly enough, I love Darth Maul, but I also love Boba Fett, so it's really hard. But I think I'm going to go with Attack of the Clones for today, because 
maybe it's just because Boba Fett's more relevant. So that could be. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. I'm definitely going with the Fat and Menace. It has Darth Maul and Qui Gon Jinn. Okay. That's true. And it also yeah. has Jar Jar Binks. But, you know, <laughs> I I just picked my poison. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Seven's missing one thing. It also has freaking pod racing, which is <laughs> true. Yeah, this is Star true. Wars. This Phantom is true. Menace might be the most give and take movie of yeah. all of Star Wars because yeah. like, it has pod racing. It also has little kid Anakin. It has Darth Maul. It also has That's Jar Jar, Jar Binks. Binks. Yeah. It, yeah. And so you yeah. the whole time it's, you're like. Well, how do I feel about this? It's yeah. the first device, like, truly divisive Star Wars. Right. right. Yeah. Now, some people were disappointed by Return of the Jedi, but most people still liked it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. You, you didn't feel like you were cheated. Right. Whereas, you you could argue for Episode 1, you mm. could feel cheated with that edition of Jar Jar. So, it looks like we have a tie. Um, I would have to say, uh, for Brendan, because I know he loves the Clone Wars... It's got the clones in it. It's some of your favorite characters. That is true. As, as much as I don't personally like Attack of the Clones, I actually love the very ending of it, mm. where it you know a lot of it is communicated without dialogue, but just you know like oh Obi Wan says oh at least it was a victory. He's like, no, this was not a victory, and I don't like how he's like begun the Clone Wars have because he's like hey audience remember that thing. This is it because in in yeah. universe it'd be a bit weird if he already knew the name of the war. Um, but that aside, he's like, no, this was not a victory. This is bad. Cut to the clones on Coruscant being shown off to the Republic and all this stuff. And, you know, with some music, be like, oh, look at this. But it's the Imperial March saying, this is going to lead to bad things. Mm. And what does the, what is leading to the bad things? The marriage of Anakin and Padme. Yep. It's a great, you know, work of editing and music to show this may feel like a victory, but this is a victory for the wrong side. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that's fair enough, but I will uh, contend, duel of fates, everything that transpires mm. uh, does so because of Qui-Gon's death. That's, mm, that's because true. Because don't realize, they're so arrogant. It shows them for the first time that the Jedi, they were actually arrogant. They thought that the Sith would never turn and all that. Mm -hmm. And it turns out, it's like, well, which one was destroyed, the Master or Apprentice? And that's a very big question. Mm. That it just sort of hangs over the Palpatine. It's like, yeah. Ah, yeah. That's, that's another good case of editing. That's, to tell yeah, story. and so, that's true. so I mean, uh, I don't know. I, it, I feel like the uh, the Duel of Fates is a big thing for me. I like mm -hmm. the Clone Wars battle. I like the battle in the arena. I felt like mm. it was well done. I don't know. I I root for. Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan way more than I do for just Anakin and Obi-Wan because we kind of know where they're going. So. I do too, actually. Yeah, so, that, that's and, fair. And, and they're easy to root for. Qui-Gon's like the perfect fatherly figure and Obi-Wan's... Mm. Uh, he's arrogant, but he has enough humility to apologize to his master right. conveniently before his death, which is nice. So, <laughs> um, I don't know if we're going to make any headway or if we should just rock, rock it. Yeah, that's exactly right. Well, I mean, I am on the fence about Phantom Menace on the Attack of the Clones, so I'm willing to change my vote to oh, I was Phantom gonna, Menace. I, I was just going to say. I think you've, all of us you, are Yeah, I think that's, that's the truth. Seven. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Stefan's pretty... <laughs> he, he's it very was much my favorite someone. at one point in my yeah. life. Right. Right now, it's, it's not. But we've got one solid vote, and then three of, like, I could go either yeah, way. You really, way. really, really yeah. could. I, I'll just be the one to do it. I, because you brought up some great points mm -hmm. about uh, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan's relationship. Whereas, you know, the romance scenes aren't too terrible, except for one scene where they're next to the fireplace. You know, but it's... I'm haunted. Yeah, I'm haunted. Me. <laughs> I learned uh, George Lucas designed that. that yeah. Oh, did he really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, was, there, there was some not very subtle uh, symbolism in that, yes. <laughs> yeah, no, it's that's... the only one he designed. Yeah. It's like it's poetry. A, it's changing. It's one of the rhymes. <laughs> yeah, so, so, like so, so I'm going to switch just to Phantom, but... Yeah, let's, let's do that. But All I right. do... You know, it could go either way. Right. Sorry, Attack of the Clones. Not today. Oh, Ooh, yes. All right. That was its only chance. This isn't. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll see. All right. This is uh, another tough one. Um, but for me, as much as I love Return of the Jedi, it it has a few too many nitpicky things for me mm. that hold it back. I'm I'm going to be voting Empire. Things like you know, of course, you have to rescue Han at the beginning. Yeah. But if you didn't rescue Han, 
the rest of the movie still plays the same. So the, you know, the, it's very true. I mean, yeah, it well, doesn't really change till yeah. episode seven. That's true. Yeah, yeah till episode still, seven comes right? out. Right, Aaron. What do you think? Right. It's just a nitpick, but uh, definitely Empire. It's my favorite. I watched it all the time as a kid. I love the soundtrack, so mm. my favorite. So Return of the Jedi is my current favorite. However, I I can differentiate between my favorite and what the best is. Mm. So Empire is the best. So I'm giving it to Empire. Empire is better. All right. The Rise of Skywalker or A New Hope? All right, here's where I tell <laughs> all of you that the most shocking thing in the world the movie that was nominated for Best Picture and Best Editing and Best Special Effects and all those other things is better than the one that wasn't. <laughs> yeah. uh, That's so yeah. surprising, Jed. <laughs> Explain how. <laughs> now that you mention. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I think I speak for all of us. We, a New Hope. A New Hope. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah. And again, New Hope. Yeah. yeah. I like Solo, but. It's a new, new hope, hope, man. A new hope. That's where it's at. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm. Ooh. I think I'm going to be outvoted, but I'll try and make the best case I can. <laughs> Force Awakens is good for what it is, but it's very safe, and it didn't set up the trilogy f- to go in a good direction. Last Jedi took what Force Awakens did and tried to do something new with it. Mm. Tried to do the best it could. It tried to say instead of selling toys, I want to tell a story. I want to do something meaningful with the characters. Didn't always hit it out of the ballpark on all those swings, but I think the swings that it did, not only did it hit it out of the park, just the fact that it made those swings, I'm voting it over Force Awakens. This will be not surprising, but I also vote for The Last Jedi. Oh. Because because you bring up a lot of great points, but also I am a huge fan of Andy Serkis, and I really, really liked to miss Snoke in this one. He did good. In the previous film, yeah, but he does a lot better in right. this one. I don't think he was given much in the Force Awakens, but he did a lot with what he was given. Yep, yep. So yeah, Last Jedi is my vote. Yeah, I'm just going to go off my initial viewings uh, with the films. With the Force Awakens, I walked away not satisfied. Last Jedi left me feeling pretty empty, so I'm going with the Force Awakens. <laughs> All right. right, there you go. All right. Um, for me, it's different. The whole sequel trilogy was just ruined by Rise of Skywalker, and I know one movie shouldn't ruin the whole series. But, but it does me, change it your does. feelings. Yeah, it it really does. does. Like I, I think both these movies are trash now just because of that fact. That's right. Um, so who who's winning right now? So right now it so is Last Jedi. Jedi. I'll just say Last Jedi. <laughs> yeah, I was going right. to say. Yeah. It's a tough one for... Feel as strong as All right, this one I know I'm getting outvoted on. I'm voting <laughs> Last Jedi. Tell me why I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> because, wrong Jed, <laughs> John Williams' score is really good in The Revenge of the Sith. No. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's great gra- in both. It's it, great in yeah. both, for sure. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, I would say, I've, I would feel in Revenge of the Sith, it's more epic sounding, yeah. which I appreciate, so... That's just one of the reasons, but also, once again, Darth Vader, so I'm a little biased in that. Um, just going off again, how I felt, I remember how I felt watching every Star Wars film, even if I was four at the time. Uh, Revenge of the Sith made me excited and want more. Last Jedi made me sad and uh, not want anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Sith. Yeah, I like how Stephanie feels. Um, Clone Wars, Aaron tried to bring up that Clone Wars came from Episode 2. But I feel like a lot of the looks from the Clone Wars show came from Episode 3. That's fair. Yeah. And a lot of the tones and stuff came from Episode 3. And that's why Episode 3 is better. All right. There we go. All right. Revenge of the Sith or Rogue One. This is another case of it'll depend on the day for me. Um, Because, you know, going back to that Faulkner quote of, you know, Human heart in conflict with that self, with itself. I do think Revenge of the Sith does that better than Rogue One. Mm. I also think that Rogue One is better constructed in terms of like, you know, the three act structure and moving this to this to this. Mm. I'll probably say differently tomorrow, but I'm going Revenge of the Sith. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> so, so I think no I speak for the rest of us, but maybe not. I, but I also have Revenge of the Sith, both great Vader movies. So. Mm. Yeah, it's Sith. Sith has people who don't just... I mean, people die. But, you know, it, it fits the bigger story. Rogue One is just sort of a nice, nice side story. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. 
Yeah, you know, Sith is the pivotal moment of the whole saga, I guess. Mm. I mean, I'd argue Return of the Jedi, but okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, You're wrong, it's Rise of Skywalker, because Palpatine came back. But the thing, well, the the thing, (laughs) just to go over briefly, Mm -hmm. Sith, uh, is, it can, it, I think it's the bigger moment because it doesn't have the sequel trilogy to sort of say, oh well, it, it doesn't add to this as Mm -hmm. much as you thought it did, versus Jedi, it's like, oh, that's, that's a good place to end. But then it keeps going anyway. If that makes sense at all, like Sith was a was the pivotal moment because I don't know. I, 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 I see what you're trying to say. To say. Yeah. yeah. There are so many stories that come from Order sixty six and Revenge of the Sith before and after during the Clone Wars and right after Order sixty six. Some of the greatest stories are in there. I mean, you could argue that there's so many stories because it's a great idea, but they didn't do it right in Revenge of Sith. So it they is clumsily done. That's, that's, do right. that, that's it, fair. It is that, done. I, that's fair. I I do think Order sixty is or forty six. Well, Order sixty six is a great moment in the story. Yeah. I don't necessarily like how it's handled in the movie. I mean, I do like the idea of let's have most or not most have some of the focus be on Yoda feeling the impact of it yeah. because most of these. I mean, like. I know the name of that character. I know the name of that character. You know, this is before the Clone Wars show. But right, like, right. What? I don't care about them. Like, oh, that that one is blue. Mm-hmm. That one talked about a droid attack on the Wookiees. I didn't fall <laughs> in love with the characters until later. Yeah. And so in, in the moment, I only feel those things because Yoda's, on, oh, no, oh, no. Yeah, and you know, that, and that's fair. I mean, I remember growing up and having watched it, I had a different perspective mm-hmm. of that, is that I knew the Jedi were good. Right. No matter who they were, they were good. So yeah. to have Order 66, while I may not know, in fact, I didn't know Kiati Mundy's name. I mm-hmm. called him Mountainhead. Yeah, Mountainhead. You know, that's, that's right. how we refer to him. Mm-hmm. But even him getting shot, mm-hmm. for me at least, I was like, oh no, they're killing the best of the good guys right now. So, you know, and that's just a, you know, that's a very simple child perspective. But no, it's, it's a very, but it's impactful. straightforward and explicit. You know, way to show us the audience evil is overcoming good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and and that's why it worked well for me. Right. You know, I w- I do admit mm-hmm. with the addition of Clone Wars and you know other and uh, even some bits of Bad Batch, it's become and Rebels, mm-hmm. it's become even more right. But I I can see both sides. Like Rebels, Bad Batch, Fallen Order. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't you know, know if this is a hot take, but yeah, I think it was Fallen best portrayed Wars. in uh, Fallen Order. It, you know yeah. that yeah. that might Possibly. be true. Yeah. All right, all right. But so we did vote going Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. All right. Um, Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. It's me. my, like I said, it's, it's my favorite. It's Return of the Jedi. Yeah. yeah Return. All right. Given the peer pressure, Brendan didn't cheese. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Again, Return of the Jedi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even though I like them both. I, I don't know. know. I don't know. One of them's got pod racing. <laughs> And one of them's got Ewoks. I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> you, are, you are correct. Yeah. Yeah. Charger Binks versus Ewoks. It's like, yeah, I'm going to go with the Ewoks. Well, like the here. speeder chase versus the pod race, you know, which one's better? I mean, personally, actually, for the speeder chase. I, I like them both. But I, I love both of them. The I've never the actually sound thought effects. of that, so. I, you know, I think... The, it, what about the, you know, the final, the battle of Endor in space or the battle of Naboo in space? Anakin accidentally pulls a trigger and blows something up <laughs> on accident, and then now that was actual pod racing. Yeah. Or yeah, that's Lando and Wedge, pod racing. you know, doing like, <laughs> okay, we have to turn around because this thing, and then it's a trap. And like, I don't think it's the greatest space battle ever, but it's up. There. Well, and yeah. I, I kind of have to agree there. Yeah. And but and with the pod racing and the speeder chase, it depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for high speed, both of them have it. If you're looking for battle. Well, kind of both of them have it. I would lean more towards the speeder chase c- mm. as far as better constructed battle. Right, because not everyone in the pod race is trying to yeah. kill each other. Some yeah. are, but some not are, everyone. but not yeah. all, all are. I think the Jedi works better for me because it's the accumulation of a story we've been following which mm. shows Luke at the finest of right. his powers yeah. and everything. Just that moment where he salutes R2 and the lightsaber comes up and he catches it. Like, that was a surprise for a lot of people. And it was yeah. a very cool moment for a yeah. lot of people. Yeah, that's true. And there's cool moments in Phantom Menace, don't get me wrong, but Luke is a hero that we've been rooting for for a long time, whereas we know the fate of Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon. It's like, who are you? He's cool. He's been introduced, but then he dies. Yeah. And while I'd argue, you know, personally, I prefer the lightsaber fight in 
Return of the Jedi, I understand why a lot of people would prefer the Duel of the Fates. Right. You know, they, they're very close, neck and neck, in terms of a quality lightsaber fight. Yeah. But I don't think that there's a moment in Phantom Menace that matches up to the emotional moments of Vader saving Luke, or Luke taking the mask off, or just the tension of the, that three-way like confrontation in the throne room. Well, yeah. I, would, I would even contend, you know, since we're going for emotional, mm. uh, Yoda dying. You know, right. that in itself, like we think, we hope we get to see him as a force ghost and we do, but even in that moment, you, you feel like the Jedi, that the good side really has that potential to lose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, suddenly he has to be his own master. And it's not just that he dies. It's right before he dies. He says, yeah, you're still not a Jedi yet. And then he dies. Yeah. 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 And so Luke has grown up, mm. and he has some further growing up and development to do. And to me, that that is the more interesting of the two stories. I love the idea of two Jedi, you know, doing their job and mm. going through the galaxy and having this cool mission and everything. But Luke having the weight of the galaxy on his shoulders, is, I think, is a better story. Yeah. Return of the Jedi is a higher quality. Yeah. So. In terms of emotion. Yeah, so, so I think uh, Return of the Jedi. I think I was outvoted anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. either way. But, but, but it's good because we get a chance to discuss these things. Right, right. This one right. should be easy. Yeah, Force Awakens. <laughs> Force Awakens. <laughs> Force Awakens. Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> you love <laughs> it. You just hate it. It doesn't matter. I hate all of them. It's true. <laughs> that one is it's, the one that really did. It's, so. it's, it's true. Awakens. You can't really... <laughs> you can't really lose when you're voting here. <laughs> All right, Solo or The Force Awakens? Solo. Yeah, I, I think I'm going Solo as well. Yeah. Interesting. Solo. I thought you'd go for The Force Awakens. No, like I, I like it, but Solo's grown on me over time. Whereas Force Awakens, yeah. it, you know, I really liked it at first, and it's, it's gone down yeah. in my eyes. Yeah. But it's kind of settled at like, you know, I like it. It's good. Like, it's all right. It has problems that should have been addressed. But it's fine. Yeah, yeah. 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 Solo, nah, I'm, I'm there. I'm there with you. Which that's kind of where I started with solo, yeah. right? But and now it's grown it's, in my it's, it's yeah, going it's up. It's kind of like a fine wine because it's unique versus the Force Awakens, which is retreading places mm. we've already been. Yeah, so. right. So, yeah, yeah. Because that's not a sequel. It's not a sequel movie. It's a prequel. <laughs> All right, Last Jedi or Solo? Again, I'm going to be outvoted, but I'm going Last Jedi. Solo. 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 All right. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I understand why for last year, but right. I, mm. it gets better for me. It's Isn't that one. Ooh, yeah. Um, I'm I'm going to go solo because I don't know if this is a hot take or not. Out of the new characters that were introduced in Rogue One, who's still alive? <laughs> well, well, not even that. I don't. I don't care if they live or die. I didn't care about any of that. Except for Cassian Andor at the beginning when he's like, oh, this is interesting. Like, it's mm. a good guy doing bad things for right. the cause of good. Right. But then they didn't really explore that, which is one of the reasons. for the girl. Yeah. 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 This is one of the reasons why, <laughs> one of the reasons I'm looking forward to the, the Andor series is like, let's explore the ideas that were presented but not developed in his character. But I did care for the different characters in Solo. That's maybe a good not, point. like, maybe that not so for great. each one of them as much as I would have thought or wanted or hoped. But I do care about each one of them. That is a yeah. very fair take. Now you got me questioned, because I was <laughs> going to say, well, it's Darth Vader, so you know my vote. But since you've brought that up, mm -hmm. if you were to tell me that Kira or uh, Donald Glover or, you know, uh, who plays Solo in that? Oh, uh, Alden Ehrenreich. If you told me any of them were going to reappear in Mandalorian, I would genuinely be interested. Yeah. At the very least. So yeah, I think I'm going to change my vote to Solo, actually. Yeah, it's it's fair enough. Uh, can't say I cared a whole lot for everyone in Rogue One. And Solo, what's the word? It's a little more fun. Yeah, yeah it is so more fun. I'm going with Solo. It's less dramatic and more just, we're here to have fun, guys. It's an adventure. Yeah, it's an adventure. It's like, it was a relief to me, because right. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do Star Wars. I was pretty burnt out, because I, I wasn't ready for the last year. I mean, a lot of people weren't. Most people weren't. <laughs> and, I, yes. and I was reluctant to go see Solo, but when I did, I was like, no, it made me have a warm, fuzzy, nostalgic feeling. Mm, yeah. Which I didn't get from uh, Force Awakens or the last year, like, mm. very much. There you go. So, um, I, I don't think I'd watch Solo over and over again, but Rogue One has 
it's a pretty darn good action. It, it does. does. That action is wise, Rogue One is definitely superior. Without they, a question. They might have the best space battle. Yeah. yeah it, than it's battle in the top. Or not better than over Endor. For me, it's either the Battle of Scarif or the Battle of Yavin for best space battle, but they're yeah. so close. So you, they you are got, good. You bring you. Man. I really, really like the action of Rogue One, so I'm going to see Rogue One. But All it sounds right. like I'm outvoted. Yeah, you're yeah. outvoted. If, yeah. if you had brought that up, Brendan, earlier. I might have voted for you. I might. I might have voted for that because once again, ooh, that's a really good point. Yeah. So, yeah, but yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, the last third of the. That's true. It's true. Um, I'm going solo because they talk like normal people in it. <laughs> I mean, that, that's fair. They're pretty close in my mind, but that's just a little thing to put it over uh, for me. That that's fair. That's fair. The action's better in <laughs> Revenge of the Sith. So I'm gonna go with Revenge of the Sith. Uh, I'm going with Sith because it made me want more. I mean, Solo was good because it kind of saved my relationship with Lucasfilm. Not necessarily with Star Wars, mm. just what Lucasfilm was doing at the time. But Sith made me want more. So. Yeah, yeah, the best part of Solo to me is when they kill that android. The best part <laughs> of Sith is like, and this is where the fun begins to the end. <laughs> yeah, but man, those credits were awful. <laughs> those credits were, those were the worst credits ever. <laughs> Are you playing it was worse than the I'm dead speaks. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, the, the dead speak, uh, man. Uh, all right. I've been outvoted. Revenge of the Sith. All right. All right. A New Hope or Revenge of the Sith? Ooh. <laughs> man, this one's pretty easy for me. I love A New Hope. I'm, I'm going with that. Shoot. <laughs> Does anyone want to go before me? Sure. Okay, go ahead. Actually, okay. no, I... I, 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 I <laughs> well, let's, let's just discuss... Like, mm. I've I've liked Hope a lot better as I've grown out older. Mm. Mm. Because when I was That's young, true. I was like, man, that one's a boring one. But as I've gotten older, I'm like, no, mm. this is... I can see why I've been a little back in the day. But like, right. This is really good stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, just the little things, like the fact that you've got those stormtroopers who... In the first film, it's like they're yeah they're actually a threat. They go around burning people, and mm. you know Han and, and runs away from them. And they need their whole Falcon's gun system just to keep these guys away from them. Just little things like that really uh, sold a new hope to me. Uh, Revenge of the Sith is good. I really like that film. So I'm I'm, I'm gonna and this could be any day mm. in my change of mind. I'm gonna go with hope today. Okay, right. that's fair. Do you want to go, Brennan? You should go. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so both have Vader, so, you know, they should just both be great. Mm -hmm. And they are. Um, I do love Revenge of the Sith because it did make me excited to have more. But the problem is, is New Hope, even as a child, I felt the same way. So, <laughs> so it's really hard for me. Um, I'm going to go with A New Hope since that is kind of the consensus. Mm. But for the Revenge of the Sith fans, I also really, really, really love that film. So, And I have no doubt Revenge of the Sith will end up high in our ranking. Yeah, yeah, without yeah. a doubt. Yeah. Revenge of the Sith is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I'm there <laughs> with you. Favorite? Yeah, It's definitely amazing. <laughs> a New Hope is really good, too. I've, I've grown up with it. As a kid... Honestly, in my opinion, when I watched like the original trilogy, mm. they were fun, but they were boring. So it was fun. Yeah, and, you know that's blasphemy. But now yeah. I've grown to like them, and I'm like they're actually like really high quality movies. Yes, they are. But like yeah. again, once again, Revenge of the Sith. Just how I see that movie is not just the, you know maybe bad dialogue, maybe bad acting, maybe clumsily told. Maybe you don't care about the Jedi dying. It's the fact that so many things stem from that. But so many things definitely hope as well. Right. Yeah. But yeah. I also, I, I just like the so. so. Yeah, you gotta go with your favorite, so. Alright. But you've been outvoted. But so. you've been outvoted. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> this one might be a harder one. Um. Okay. So. I, I don't, I don't mind going first. Okay. It's obvious. You go first, Darren. I don't mind going first. I would have to say Attack the Clones. Mm. And here's why. It doesn't mess up the Skywalker saga. Okay. It doesn't change it to the Palpatine saga, which honestly is what Rise of Skywalker does. And two, as bad as and as clumsy as the dialogue is, it does serve its purpose to help build up towards the original trilogy. 
and its mistakes, which there are many, it doesn't impact the lore of the original, you know, the the saga of the six films. Mm. So that's why I would choose Attack of the Clones more because you could skip it theoretically. You could just go from Phantom Menace and to Revenge of the Sith, and you could kind of get there. But if you skip <laughs> Rise of Skywalker, you're just like, please be dual of fates, please be dual <laughs> of fates, or whatever, or whatever head cannon you have, and it doesn't, you know, affect the saga or ruin the lore. So that's why I would say Attack of the Clones because the story it serves doesn't greatly impact the whole story, but enough that it makes it good. Not great, but I would say good. I did have positive feelings in watching The Rise of Skywalker, not for the right reason. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I was like, man, the sequels are tearing each other apart. <laughs> and that's kind of that is kind cruel of funny. and somewhat humorous. But as a child, Attack of the Clone was really fun for me to watch. I remember good feelings watching that film in theaters. And I usually base things off of that. Granted, as I've gotten older, Attack of the Clones has somewhat gotten weaker in my mind. Mm. But I'm going off that feeling, Attack of the Clones for me. Uh, did you go, Jed, yet? No, I haven't. And do you want to go next, or sure. well, do you want me to? <laughs> I, <can. laughs> I definitely don't base my uh, opinion like Seth and I do. I, I can't do that. I like how your first impression of these movies. Because mm. I thought, when well, you know, first I watched Rise of the Scout, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. You know? I mean, just the more it sat with me, the more I'm like, that didn't make any sense. And, you know, it kind of <laughs> screwed with the whole Skywalker saga. I mean, you know, Anakin being the chosen one, he gets rid of the Sith, and then, you know, you, know, you didn't. Palpatine no, never died. He transferred his body into a clone. Just like that's garbage. That's why that movie's garbage. So anything is better than that garbage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you put me in the very uncomfortable, unfortunate <laughs> position of having I'm to defend the rise of Skywalker. <laughs> Let it be known, I do not particularly love either of these films. In fact, it would be fair to say that I do not even like either of these films. But Palpatine coming back was something that happened long before Rise of Skywalker. I didn't like it then. I didn't like it now. But you didn't hear people clamoring that it undid Vader's sacrifice then. Because Vader's sacrifice, to me, wasn't him killing the Emperor. His sacrifice was saving his son. And his son was saved. Sure. And for me, the, well, even yeah. as a kid, I, I have yet, at least that I can think of off the top of my head, I have yet to see a story where there's a chosen one, and I think that I like the chosen one prophecy. I like that there is a chosen one. I never liked that Anakin was the chosen one because, I mean, you watch uh, A New Hope, Vader's just kind of a guy. He's like a, a Nazi officer. He's, or, you know, one of the people who was making Empire Strikes Back, I forget which, might have been Gary Kurtz. He said kind of the whole reason they introduced Boba Fett was because that was the role that Vader had in the original film. He's yeah. just, he's yeah. a really cool henchman. And, you know, as they're making Vader more important in the story, they're like, yeah, but it'd be nice to have someone to fill that niche. And so they, they put him in there. That's true. And so true. as somebody who liked Vader, not necessarily for what he meant for the plot, but what he meant for all the different characters and stuff, the fact that Palpatine came back, you know, the guy who was like always obsessed with immortality and having a backup plan, all that stuff, the fact that he came back, it doesn't ruin Star Wars for me. That being said, I hate it. <laughs> but it doesn't ruin Star Wars for me. I hate it. I hate it as from a storytelling yes. perspective, not from yes. what it does to the lore of Star Wars. Yes. yes. Um, and I will say, no one in Attack of the Clones gives a performance as good as Adam Driver in The Rise of Skywalker. That's about all the good I have to say <laughs> yeah. about Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think I would vote Rise of Skywalker over Attack of the Clones, but only just barely. And it'd probably change tomorrow. But it doesn't matter because I've been outvoted. Yeah, there you have it. So. For those who like either one of these films, let us just say... I'm jealous of you. Yes, I wish I liked you. them. I don't like not liking movies. Yes. It happens, but I don't like it. Yes. Bless you. Bless your hearts and bless ours for not liking them as well. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, not again. <laughs> so can we just kill... Attack? Let's just vote for Force Awakens yeah, to kill... I'm voting for Force <laughs> attack, Awakens. Attack of the Clones. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> Attack of the Because it at least tried stuff, right? Because <laughs> it's, so, <laughs> <'cause> it's not a sequel. <laughs> I don't, I don't like either, I don't like either of these more than the other. I don't like honest. the sequels bring to the overall story at all. That's fair. So, That's fair. Okay. 
I understand that, but I get special I, effects are better, acting is better, right, dialogue is right. better, story maybe overall in that specific movie is better mm. than that movie. I mean, that's kind of the case when you're basing your story almost exactly yeah, off of the very good story. story. Yeah, after exactly. the good story. You know, yeah, it's not original. I don't like the approach that was taken when they were telling the story of The Force Awakens, but, you know, when I go to see a movie, I'm looking for, you know, the characters, the acting, the writing, the storytelling, all that stuff. If the cinematography is good, great. If not, well, I mean, that sucks, but it doesn't change anything for me. Same with the action or the music, you know. I would love it to be that, but that's that's not primarily what I look for. Yeah. And so for me, I do vote for Force Awakens. That's fair. What are you, where, where you voting for? Me? Yeah. Because uh, I'm sitting here thinking about it. Mm. You know, if I go... Yeah, maybe the, the acting is not on par. And yeah, it's definitely not on par. <laughs> but I not, think, not that it's the worst no, in the world. There no, are standout performances. No, no, I no, think sure. Tamara Morrison is grossly underrated. Yes. Mm. Django or Boba Fett. That's true. He should have been utilized a lot more. Ewan McGregor. Ewan McGregor is solid. CGI Caminoans. That's he's solid in Caminoans. Caminoans. I mean, he's doing his own show. Okay, just so that the it breaks the a tie because I could vote for either one of these. I'm Mm. I'm hearing you guys are leading towards Attack of the Clones. That's I don't like either of these ones particularly because I I'm, I'm like okay. My initial thing with Attack of the Clones, happy as a kid. Right. My memories. And then with Force Awakens, my memory is, I liked it, but not as much as you guys offered. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. very on the fence, because I'm like, I love that arena scene! And then the Force Awakens, well, that's fun solo. And Kylo Ren was cool, and Snoke was mysterious. Yeah. Yeah. I feel the conflict inside. Exactly. <laughs> this is me too. That's what I'm saying. I'm only vote if you guys vote for Attack Clones, that's one I don't I hope these are both on lower tiers of the list. If they I'm likely honest. will be. Um so that's my what vote is Attack of the Clones. Yeah. We have one hard Attack of the Clones, one hard Force Awakens. Yeah. 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 Uh, Attack of the Clones. <laughs> but did it make it good? <laughs> <laughs> but was it good childhood? I would say so, but yeah, it depends. Awakens. I mean, it was such a big deal to us as kids. We argued who killed the spider monster. That's true. We did. Mm. People forgot. Yeah, we forgot which one of them. Who killed, let me let me put it. This who way. killed Django Fett again? Yeah, yeah. We had a whole debate. Let, let me about put it, it this way. We we talked. Jed talked about earlier about how the Force Awakens wasn't a good setup for the trilogy, right? Because mm-hmm. they just rehashed it. Right. And so what followed was the Last Jedi, which ended up being very divisive. Attack of the Clones, while very clumsy and not the maybe not the best prequel movie by far, it did set up a movie that was a lot less divisive and a lot mm-hmm. sounder storytelling and overall plot sounder story. So I think it's better set up. Mm-hmm. We're kind of arguing like quality of the movie yeah. on its own versus where it fits in the Star Wars. Song. Right. I care more about where it fits than mm. quality. If we're doing quality, maybe yeah, Force Awakens is probably better. Right, but but it is, it's I care more yeah, both are important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and it's hard to contend with with that because it's like Jed's not wrong. The Force Awakens is better quality, quality. but neither is Brendan. Yeah, but Brendan's right. not wrong either. <laughs> this is why it's so hard to be a nerd for those yes. who do aren't nerds. This is why. So tell us why in the comments why it's easy to be a nerd, <laughs> and I will tell you why you're not right. I will also say this. As much as people will say that the new Star Wars movies are too political, Attack of the Clones is some of the most overtly anti-George W. Bush stuff I've yeah. ever seen it's, in a movie. It, it's like, true. People say that people are too obvious with Trump metaphors today. Uh, the prequels were very obvious. Yes. Right. And yes. Lucas claims it was based on Vietnam, and I could buy that, but I can see how... Nah, the original know. trilogy was not. This way. was all about George W. Yeah. Bush. Yeah. 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 So, well, um, yeah, with... Wait, was Palpatine and Bush? Yeah, because he's like, oh, I'm just taking these powers that you're voting to all give me because it's for the better good. I swear I'll give them back because, yeah. you know, the government's taking all this surveillance power and making up wars yeah. overseas. And then he had yeah. this quote where he's like, you know, either you're with us or you're against us. And a lot of people... Give him flack for that, and then 
you know, it's Revenge of the Sith on Attack of the Clones, but he's like, you're either with me or you're my enemy. He's like, well, this is a bad thing to say, isn't it, guys? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and there's hints of actual World War II right. uh, history in there as well. So it's, it is, it it's, is. It's not just George it's W. Bush. It's not just George W. Bush. But well, yeah, he, it's obviously. Yeah. Right, he, yeah. he was very explicit in saying. Yeah, yeah. He, he straight up called George W. Bush Darth Vader, but he's the, like, he's the victim here because the real villain is Dick Cheney, the emperor. Right. <laughs> all right, all right. Don't want to be the the Nancy, but yeah, we're yeah, we we're got taking it. a long time. We're taking a long time here. Okay, we go with right. clones. Attack of the clones. The last Jedi are attacking. <laughs> oh the my god! <laughs> Kill it like the rest. Last oh. Jedi tried things. I'm going with Last Jedi. <laughs> it has it has it has freaking Boba Fett. A Django it has Boba and Django. Okay. So I'm going to go with Clone Wars. <laughs> or Attack of the Clones. Yeah, All right, I, Attack of the Clones. I'm, I'm sick of... <laughs> oh my god! I Go Rogue One! Rogue One! <laughs> Rogue One. Just because I'm it's, sick of... It's three times it's in a row. row. Attack of the Clones. I'm Rogue, Rogue One. The further, the further we go on the, 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 the list, the ranking, the more we'll start seeing the same ones pop up. Oh, yeah. So. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I'm, going, I'm going with Rogue One. It has um, Darth Vader. Yeah, I'm going with Rogue One. Honestly, that is cool. All right, yeah. unanimous Rogue One. I'm going with Rogue One again. Okay. Is that is that That's divisive? Okay. It might be divisive because I I because we have great points on both. For right. Like each or it's yeah it's kind of sports. I'd be willing to watch either. Of them. <laughs> well, if we're talking about the beauty, then Rogue One is visually stunning. It really Not is. just the the quality yeah. of the CGI, yeah. but the the framing of the the yeah. shots and everything. They yeah. filmed in Rome, Jed. <laughs> Rome. <laughs> Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Padme had five of outf- five <laughs> outfits, beautiful, gorgeous. They must have cost over a thousand dollars each. <laughs> That's probably true. I mean, some of them probably, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah oh, probably okay. <sighs> this is this John is hard. John. Okay, if we, if we do the character thing again, like nobody cared about the characters in Rogue One, that was a consensus. That that is so fair. What about Episode One? Did it, do we care about any of those people? That's. I like. Obi-Wan. I have a hot take. I like the characters. I didn't necessarily care about all of them in the movie. That's like, fair. I, I, like, I really like Qui Gon, oh, but I'm like, well, I mean, if he dies, then you know the story. Like story wise, it's very interesting to happen. You know, to think about what happens if he lives or dies. But if not, I'm like, well, I mean, he kind of already left the impact he was going to on Obi Wan, on Anakin. So I'm like, he, he he can die. And I didn't. I don't like Padme. I didn't care about Padme. I. I liked Shmi, and I cared about Shmi, but the movie didn't care about Shmi. You know, they cared <laughs> about her in the next one. No. Um, I don't, I didn't care about Mace Windu. I didn't care about Darth Maul. I just like, okay, we, we see these characters. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But they are all important to the overall plot. Well, most. And, and that's kind of how I feel about it. Uh, Ro- Rogue One, right? <laughs> it's just the same thing with the characters. Yeah, they're kind of cool, but I don't care. Oh, there's Darth Vader. I care now. <laughs> right. Like, the only the only members of like the the squad, Rogue One itself, that I really cared about were Cassian Andor, and even that was just conceptually. Yeah. And K two S O because he was hilarious. Right. And that's how I kind of feel like with Darth Maul. I conceptually loved him. And, yeah. But you know. Take him or leave him as he was in the film. Yeah, love him in Clone Wars and Rebels. Yes, but in the Phantom Menace, he's just he, guy. He, he's devil. With, yeah, uh, with a cool lightsaber. He's very cool. Okay, I could relate to Anakin as a kid. I remember liking that. Okay, not in like the. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I was a weird I, kid, but I, I never related to him. Well, yeah. well, it's just you know, it's it's kind of that. I I understand that because I could say the same thing with Kylo Ren. Right. For Force Awakens, I was like, as a kid, I wanted to be Darth Vader. And mm. There's an adult about, you know, roughly my age, obviously. Right, not he's exactly. older than me. Grown, uh, neck beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, just to, for the sake of time, I'm going to go with uh, Rogue One. So, Phantom Menace will so retired then? I like, think so. Yeah. Oh, wait, did you both vote for Phantom? Yeah. Oh shoot! I'm Rogue not saying the time at all. Consequential to the whole story. Neither is Phantom Menace. If you if you start watching Attack of the Clones, yeah. what will you have missed? That he's the chosen one. Well, I mean, remember that conversation in Attack of the Clones? Is he not the chosen one? Which they again have in Revenge of the Sith. Is he not the chosen one? Okay, I guess they do. Say yeah, they both do say that. Like Qui Gon died. Qui Gon's. I like Qui Gon. 
But if you take Qui-Gon out, then we know that Obi-Wan is training Anakin. If we put Qui-Gon in, we know that Obi-Wan is training Anakin. Well, we see why Obi-Wan's bothering to do it in the first place. Yeah, well, Obi-Wan yeah. Obi-Wan's uh, signed words of Qui-Gon. We do see the... Him. He's the chosen one. But if you take that out, he's going to train him anyways. This, this is I will say the one see thing... see the motivation for Obi-Wan, though. He's just like... I mean, did we see the motivation for any of the Jedi training any other Jedi? Is Jedi train Jedi. I mean, yeah. the one thing I think that Phantom Menace does have that's important to carry on to Attack of the Clones is the relationship between Shmi and Anakin. I was going to say, well, not only that, yeah. I think it's important to see all the relationships that he had, that Anakin slash Obi-Wan has with each of these characters. Because well, if we, we, you can build off of Anakin and Padme's relationship just in Attack of the Clones, but it's interesting to see, you know, why, you know, oh, you're just that little boy. Well, mm. what does that mean? You know, if you watch the previous film, you're like, oh, yeah, I get that. He really is just a little boy. To right. Me. But you, but you also learn he's a very talented little boy, you know, where, which Attack of the Clones, he's a little more flimsy. I wouldn't say he's, you know, terrible. Like he's still talented. He's but... still talented, but I would say, uh, Phantom Menace shows a more of his talent, yeah, no, less of the flimsy. Not that he has in, is in flimsy, right? You know, accidentally blows up the generator. Whoops! Whoops! Let's, exactly. Let's compare just the two posters, and this right. is for me specifically. Like yeah. it or not, and I know a lot of people don't like it, but you can name everybody on the poster for Phantom Menace, and you can't. I can't name. I can name three people on uh, Rogue One because that's how much. They are unrecon like if right. you look at them, it's a jumbled mess. Like it, it just comes I, together. I mean, like I will that. agree that the Phantom Menace poster is better because it had not, I forget not, his name, but it's not the greatest the, poster well, artist in the world. Yeah, right, not and just not just for the, the sake of it yeah, being right, a better right. looking one, but it's like name those guys on Rogue One. I mean, do you want me to? So much. Well, yeah, you probably. could. I got uh, Vader, uh, Jyn Erso, Cassian Andor, Chirrut Imwe, uh, Baze Malbus, Orson, director Orson Krennic, Bodhi Rook, and. Why? Why is the, the <laughs> one character I can't remember is the one who has the most out of all of them except for Vader? Oh he's uh, a <laughs> because he's he's a, he started like in Clone Wars and Bat Batch. He was really great in Rebel Rising, and then he was in Jedi oh, Fallen oh, Order. Oh, why can I not remember his name? I, I don't particularly like know. the character, but I, I he has so much exposure in Star Just Wars media. You don't remember, I'm not that, yeah, that you, you you got that. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so you, you switched my vote. <laughs> Episode right. one. We're going yeah. Phantom Menace. Whether you like Jar Jar or not, you're recognized. <laughs> yeah. okay. All right. Okay. Um, I'm going solo. Why do they have to keep doing Because <laughs> it's sort of not the ones that we're, yeah. that we're yeah. leaving at the bottom. The yeah. losers. The losers. Um, yeah. Aaron, you have 10 seconds. Okay. Episode solo. <laughs> episode solo. We're going to go solo. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, I know. I, I struggled. Um, let me think about this. So we already established we know everyone in episode one. And Solo, I think I could name everyone on there. That's Lando, Han, Chewie, Beck. What's the name? Tobias Beckett. Beckett, Beckett. Yeah. Beckett and the uh, Game of Thrones chick. <laughs> Kira. <laughs> Kira. No yeah, known Kira. last name. We have Val back there. Also no known last I did, name. I do have to admit, I forgot Val's name. So if we were just going based on it, it, it would be episode one, but I, it's a tough one for me. I'm going to stick with Solo. Uh, solo is a fun movie. Yeah. And I like it. Yeah. It's, I'm going to go just with Solo because it's, it's a fun yeah. movie. It's not controversial. People don't get up and down. It's right. much as the Phantom Menace. Yeah. So. Yeah. Solo's like kind of a hidden jewel, but it's not that expensive. It's hard to say that about a Star Wars movie. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. a hidden jewel. It's a hidden it, jewel. But it's not a very expensive hidden jewel. No, it's, it's kind of like it's not. It's not a diamond in the rough. It's like a, oh, here's a nice, uh, you know, very shiny piece of quartz or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you could get five bucks off of it or yeah. something. I mean, they both have malls. It's cool. I mean, five bucks is about what it made, so. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's, it's not, it's a, not a, exactly a crowd pleaser, but it's not a crowd divider. Mm -hmm. So. Well, I, for I this one, it's not fair for me to say which one has a better, bigger impact for the overall story, which is what I usually care about. Mm. Because Solo, we haven't seen it go anywhere yet, because maybe the Lando series can go. That's yeah. true. Right. So That's I true. can't really judge that, so mm. based off of the movies, I think Solo is great. Yeah. Alright, so Solo All it right. is. Solo it is. Return, Return of the, the Jedi. Jedi. Yeah, Return of the Jedi. 
Ingin sedai. <laughs> Jedi. 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 I'll fight you all. I like Jedi. Fetch. No pressure. I like Sith, but Fetch. Because I was going to say Sith, but then too, you said Jedi. He's like, Fetch. And I can name everybody in both of those posters. Was that the Morian Guard's name? No, you got me. The Morian Guard, of course. What's that Bostroid's name? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, for sake of time. I'm going to say who we have two for Jedi. I'm yep. going to go with Jedi as well. I actually do prefer what? Revenge of the Sith, but what? I don't think I'm going to convince <laughs> either of these guys yes. to switch over. And, it, and we've we've already so gone over so uh, all right. 40 minutes there. So all right, New Hope or Return of the Jedi? Return of the Jedi. I'm going to New Hope. Jedi. Oh, we are so divisive. <laughs> this see, this is why when I see Rotten Tomato scores where it's fifty fifty on like Last Jedi, this is why I believe it's true. Right. This is right. why. This is exactly why. Okay, uh, I'm not moving from Return of the Jedi. I already compromised Revenge of the Sith. I'm not so. moving from a new home. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I just. I wish there was I, an in between button. Right. Like that you could just but tie. A New Hope has Alec Guinness and you know all that good stuff. And the, the only Star Wars movie to get an Oscar nomination right. for acting. That's true. But That's true. to me, <laughs> just that. <laughs> I like Luke the best in Return of the Jedi. That's right. Because he finally stopped whining and grew, grew up. And, and All right. Like a man. I have to tell you guys that the battery on this computer is now very, very low. All right. You guys I do. Yeah. But we still have to hurry. <laughs> well, I'm going to say, oh, well, you know, I don't care as much as you guys do. Mm. So I can switch to Jedi. That's okay. Happen. All right. I'm so hurt, but it's okay. <laughs> that was the last one. Okay, that's all right. No surprise that the original anyway. trilogy <laughs> is in the top. Three. I was surprised that Last Jedi came out on top out of right. the sequel ones. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Tactical building enemies. So Last Jedi top starts three with the three. Yeah. Of, course. of course. Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith, and then Solo. Yeah, I'm actually not too upset about that list. Yeah, you should have fought for Jedi. Like, this is, Jedi. This is very different. different. Top three right <laughs> this now. is very different from my personal hey, list, but I feel this is reflective of how we sit as a group. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I think so. Um, yeah. As you can see, we we have very strong opinions about each of these films. Well, you're not each of them, but most of them. Most of them. I'm, I mean... <laughs> None of us like Rise of Skywalker, which makes sense to me why it's on the bottom. It might not be on the bottom for each personal list, right. but it does make sense. <laughs> yeah, that is that is kind of a phenomenon. Like, a no, the normal the normal worldview is like, Attack the Clones, not that Yeah. We have it right there. Just right. A bunch of a stubborn guys who, uh, who grew up with yeah. it and liked it enough. So. And this list may have looked very different had Robert been here. Yes. It may have looked very I, much the same. I, I, I don't I know. I think he would have pushed more prequel. I think his mm. prequel stuff would outdo a lot of the so, original. So, that, right. so, that, the so that's Probably. actually a great idea. If you want to see Robert's opinion, uh, let us know. Comment down below and be sure to subscribe and, you know, Share this video with your friends, and if you have a hot take on any of these uh, of our opinions, you know, let us know what they are so that we can tell you why you're wrong. Yeah, <laughs> because make no mistake, you are wrong. <laughs> you are, you are clearly <laughs> wrong, because <laughs> we were obviously so <laughs> uniformed, <laughs> united. Yes, there on was, every single one. Yes, there was no contention whatsoever. We already knew going into this what the order would be. Yes, we already knew. <laughs> this is all scripted. This is the way. Okay. Yes, this is this is canon now. <laughs> yes, this is this is how it happens. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully in the future with uh, some more of the Star Wars TV shows, we can give a, a ranking for those as well, mm -hmm. and those can be the, their own separate. Ranking. The right. TV shows in general? Yeah, just yeah. the, the TV shows. Cool. Yeah, I've got yeah. my own hot takes yeah. on that as well. Yeah. You know, and I would include the animated with the live action because right. it's all Star Wars. Yeah. Right. Um, what about the Lego ones? 
Of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, does any of does it does any of them beat the, the Lego? <laughs> That's not. <laughs> well, a do TV it. Show. <laughs> it's a movie. It's a movie. You know that droids. Well, what show on the the Star real question? Well, the real question is what beats <laughs> the Lego Star Wars? Because <laughs> it's pretty. They're all pretty great <laughs> mm. <laughs> for very different reasons. Very much looking forward to the Skywalker saga. No yes. Hopefully, it'll live up to. The heights of past Lego games and not fall to the depths of past Lego games. Absolutely. They're very inconsistent. Absolutely. Yeah, well, I. Sounds like we're done. It, yeah, I believe we are done. One, my computer's going to be complaining here soon. Um, but yeah, be sure to like, share, and subscribe and slash that like button because I'm not going to say the other one. Like force smash. Yeah. No, force no, push. A, there we go. Force, force push. push. Like button. We shall force push. And, and tell us your personal rankings in the in the comments below. We'll make sure to put the link to this quiz in the description of the video so that if you want to rank it that way, you can go ahead and do it. Or if you already know it off the top of your head, that works too. Yep. Perfect. In the meantime, we will catch you later. Bye. See ya. Bye.